Oh, hello! Welcome to a fountain pen video with me. I'm Aziza Gourmet Pens. Today's video is kind of like not surprising because it's a sailor and it's a pro gear and I really like it. I think we can start the video with that. The pen was sent to me by Pen Sachi. And oh, that's not the pen, that's the box. <laughs> uh, this is the pen. Yes, I'm sorry, it's blinding. I did. Yeah, I'm just close to the light, so there we go. Blinding with you with the pen and the brightness. Um, the pen is a Sailor Pro Gear Slims or a Sapporo. It's a limited edition. It's a demonstrator. It is called Sparkling Wine. And Pen Sachi sent this over. And if you want, you can use the Gourmet Pens discount code for 5% off your purchase. One time use only. No commission. Just letting you know. I'll put details below. Now, this is... As I said, a Pro Gear Slim, it is a Japan exclusive. It is 225 US dollars, but if you grab it on sale, it's 195, not bad. Um, and if you miss the sale, as I said, gourmet pens for 5% off. So the pen itself, it, it's just a Pro Gear, uh, a Slim. And I am a big fan of Sailor Pro Gears, even the Slims. I prefer the full size, but I still like this one. So the details of this pen, 14 karat gold nib because of the size of it. Um, extra fine, fine, medium fine, and medium nib options. So not the full seven nibs that Sailor usually offers, which is okay. Like I would really like to see a music nib or something on here, but that's what it is. It is a resin pen. It has a solid yellow cap, clear sparkly body. Oh, I haven't even shown you the package. Sorry, just your standard Sailor box. Just, that's it, okay. There's ink cartridges. It came with a, uh, a warranty thing. Now, one thing to note about this pen is it does not come with a converter, which is unusual for Sailor. Um, no converter. So you got to add like a $10 extra thing on there for an extra Sailor converter if you use converters. Um, they have colored converters, which are really cute. So this is one of my favorite models, even though it's on the smaller side. But like, I'm basically just want to show you how cute it is. I have a couple Sailor exclusive, like Japan exclusive Sailors um, from Pent and um, some from other places like Launcher, but uh, this is the first one that's really just like, there's the Kohaku yellow, which I reviewed from Pensachi, but this is a brighter yellow. The barrel, the clear section has got the same color, but like, I really like this. So this is how it like looks in my hand. I'm sorry, it's so blown out. Um, we'll see more details on the page. It's got a clear yellow finial, great clip, it, slim design, like it it works for me um, in hand. It is on the smaller side. I can use it like this. If you have small hands, you're going to have no problems. It posts snugly, posts securely, makes it totally usable. Not surprisingly, in true sailor fashion, the nib is on point. It is a killer writer. I'm really happy with it. I love the color and like... It's just so cute, you know, and it's dangerous because they keep coming out with all these really fun colors and I'm like, please stop because I only have so much self-control and I use up a little bit of my like resistance every time they come up with a new color. But what Pensachi is trying to do is make these Japan exclusive pens that are hard for us to get uh, available to us in North America. So I'm on board with that. I like that, except it makes it way too easy to get them. So it's like, I don't need another one, but I'm going to get it anyway. So it's very cute. I don't know. So the sparkles are one color. So they're like gold sparkles, whereas I have other sparkly ones that are rainbow sparkles. But I think it looks really good, like overall. Um, I'm actually okay with the solid cap. Like that's that works for me. And as you can see, like it's not a huge pen. It's just really good. So I'm happy with this. I love how it writes. I got a hard medium nib, so it's actually not super hard. It writes really nicely. It has a bit of give to it. It is the 14 karat gold size. It is a smaller nib, but it writes really well. Excellent performance, which is my experience with Sailor. And I used a lot of Sailors, honestly, like lots. And I've had one that was kind of dry, like ages ago, like six years ago. And it was just a bit dry. Like, it's not that it didn't work. It was just a touch dry. And it still worked, right? So, 
I love sailor pens, so I'm really happy with them. So I just wanted to get going. Let's do some writing, just so you can see how it works, um, like how it looks. You can see it up close a little bit if you're considering this color or this finish. Just for fun, it's kind of just eye candy, right? Like, you know what a sailor looks like, you know what a pro gear looks like, if you've been on my channel before. Um, you know I love sailors, and I've got it inked with Sailor Apricot, one of my favorite colors ever. So let's take a look at it, and let's see how it writes, shall we? Okay, I'll see you in a second. Bye! Hello everyone! Let's get going with the writing bit of this super adorable pen. So we've got the sparkling wine, but I have a, so this is a Pro Gear Slim or Sapporo size, and I've got a regular Pro Gear Slim here, just so we can look at the size difference. So it's just a little bit smaller. I think the real difference here is that it's a slimmer pen than the Pro Gear, and um, I, I can comfortably use both of them. But I know for sure that a lot of people prefer the Pro Gear Slim size just because it's um, just a little bit thicker, right? So there you go. And if we uncap, let's do some uncapping. Um, it, you can definitely see the size difference here. It's slimmer, it's shorter, and the nib size is significantly different. And if we post, There you go. So they actually post not like there's not a huge difference in terms of the posting size and the cap size. The difference is really in the uncapped, the nib size and the girth. So let's move this one out of the way and let's take a look at the adorable sparkling wine. Um, <clears throat> so the finial like attention to detail, honestly, it's just classic sailor quality. It's well made. It's really cute. It's finished well. I like the sparkles. It's it's a cute theme. And if we uncap it, the nib is the smaller 14 carat with the side is engraved with HM. Overall, a smaller pen. I can use it fairly comfortably. I can use it unposted. I use it both depending on how long I'm writing for. But it's... Sorry, I'm just changing the light there. Um, Comfortable for me. If you have larger hands, you might want to go for a, um, a larger size, so the Pro Gear. Now, um, that's from another pen up there. Let's just strike a line through it. We have the Sailor Pro Gear. Slim or Sapporo, if you prefer. It is Japan exclusive, which I think is, um, so the name is commonly used for Sapporo. It's a limited edition demonstrator. That was horrible. Looking through the camera to write is a really bad idea. Um, it is the sparkling wine. This is the hard medium nib. So, in terms of wetness, it's not super wet. It's actually fairly dry, but it works because it's medium, so you don't really notice. Ink is Sailor Apricot. I'm applying pressure here. But you can see that it's really well adjusted. Um, you can see the pressure because the ink is wetter. So, I mean, it hasn't even run dry yet. And it's not, obviously, this is not a flex nib. It's a harder nib. It has a bit of a give to it, so it's not a super hard HM. I like it a lot, actually. It's really comfortable for writing with. Um, you can use it for reverse. It's a little sharp, but if you're just doing a quick note, it's fine. And free weight for sure. So... Um, Okay, so my handwriting is horrendous, especially here. Um, it's hard to reach around a tripod. I actually really like using these nibs for printing. Just because I think it works well with the type of feedback. 
and um, I don't know what I'm, I'm just writing right random words you know this this is what happens with me so I'm gonna try it unposted for a bit here um, fun times yeah my experience with sailor has always just been really positive right so I'm always um, expecting my sorry my expectations are really high for them and they always um, they always meet my standards so there you go um, thank you to Pensachi for sending this so they have a lot of Japanese exclusive pens not just sailors but you can also check out like platinums and stuff like that and um, you can use my discount code for 5% off no commission just sharing it with you it's one time use only so make it worth it get all the things thank you guys for watching um, if you did find this useful and or enjoyable i'd love it if you would like and subscribe you can find me as gourmet pens on facebook twitter pinterest patreon and instagram and you can also find me online as toronto pen company for your nib modification needs as well oh can't spell as well as your lettering goodies and tools and all that so Hopefully this was fun, and that's all. Thank guys. There we have it, the Sailor Pro Gear Slim <laughs> Limited Edition Demonstrator Sparkling Wine from Pensachi. That's a mouthful. It's cute.